Hello friends, welcome back to Ball Homestead. My name is Beverly. We're gonna do our weekly garden tour and harvest today. So let's get started because we've got a busy day. First, we're gonna start with these green beans that are loaded to the brim. We had a really good rain last night and we have tons of green beans. I'm gonna be canning again this week. I may have to come back and do this once we're done because there's so many. Oops. I mean, look guys, look at these clusters of green beans. They just exploded overnight. Wayne and I took a quick break to pick these green beans and look, friends, this is just one pick and we have really been getting a lot of green beans and we are loving it. Now we're at the China Jades and we have a couple of those. This is a daily thing with these cucumbers. You will always get cucumbers with these China Jades. We pick these every day. I've got a counter full of them. And, oops, that one broke in half, but we'll still use it. The little neck was so small on it, it just kind of snapped, but that's okay. These I am still going to leave because I want these beans to be completely full. And I, I picked a few and they have been so small still, I just want to wait a little bit longer. But they are loaded up. I just happened to see this as I was walking by. This is a terribly cat-faced tomato. This is when blossoms fuse together and I might can get a few good spots off of here, but most of that's gonna go to the chickens. But I wanted to show you what that looks like. If you see fused blossoms, pull them off because you'll get tomatoes that look like this. I noticed a few prizes in these squash. I'm super happy. This is a patty pan squash. I love these little things. They're so cute. And we did, we've did. we got a few yellow squash, but they're not quite ready yet. We have a zucchini here. Nice, pretty little zucchini there. And we have a few of our lemon squash that we need. Oh, here's another zucchini that was hiding. Oh yeah, it was, wasn't it? Another little zucchini there. We have a lemon squash. And I have another one right here. We've got a nice, already look at our basket and we're not even a quarter of the way through the garden. We're starting to finally get a few tomatoes. Our first pretty little ripe one. I'm not sure of the variety, but we will enjoy it. We've had a few slicers so far, but here's two. This one I'll set in the window for another day or so. Now we're at the silver slicers and we have several. That, Like I said, that rain really Plumped everything up. I think that is all of those. All right, we'll leave that one for another day or so. Well, we're finally getting some ripe tomatillos. I was going to show you guys what happens when you know they're ripe. These husks split on them. These are a purple tomatillo, 
Some of them have more purple than others, but when those has split, you're ready to pick them. And I'm looking here. I don't really see that many anymore. Look, no, that one's in white. I know on the other side of the garden, there are plenty. Check these tomatillos out. There's quite a few here that are ready. Give them a look at those. These little husks just split open on these tomatillos when they're ready to be picked. And they fill out the husk, yes. yes. And they completely fill it out. And these purple, I couldn't find any green tomatillos, so they're purple, but they don't have a whole lot on them anyway. So I think that our salsa verde this year is going to be. Wonderful. I'm excited to use tomatillos. In the past, I've made salsa verde with just green tomatoes, but I'm excited to have these um, this year. Oh, friends, look at these couple prizes I found. Couple of yummy tomatoes. Now we are on to the peppers. We have a ton to pick here. And we're gonna get that done really quick. You're gonna have to strategically place those to get them in that basket. <laughs> Do your stacking skills. Some of them so they'll get just a little bit bigger. I want to show that one there. That one definitely didn't need to be a little bit bigger. <laughs> now let me just check this back side. Looks like we've got The wind feels pretty good, doesn't it? Yes, it does. It does. Here's the jungle part of the garden. You can see that cushion right there. There's probably 10 or 15 more just like that. The bees are really active today. They don't have to fan the hive to keep it cool, so there's more of them going out and harvesting. Look at these beautiful zinnias. I just stuck some seeds in the ground and they have really turned out lovely. I'm, I love zinnias. They're probably one of my favorite garden flowers. Look at these poblano peppers. Some of those are ready to go. Whoops, I have it. Pulled the top off of that one. I'll have to chop it up. That Kushaw's <laughs> trying to put a little tendril on it. <laughs> Look at these gorgeous orange Russellinis. starting to have to be really careful to not <laughs> drop the food out of my big basket here. Okay. Our last stop in the garden is the sweet peppers and there's a few of these that need to be picked as well. Those. Is there a big one I missed? Mm, yep. Sorry. 
There you go. Thank you, sweets. All right, my friend. That is it, guys. Thank you for stopping back by our homestead. Please like, share, and subscribe. Grow our garden, friends. Goodbye.